So we've already done the beginning part in class, so we're going to move on to our next part. So starting with number 11, remind us, again, remember we can skip count to find multiples of numbers if we don't know our multiplication facts. So writing five multiples of each number, and if I look, this would be 7, and then skip count by 7 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21 times 4 is 28, times 5 is 35. 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Remember how again each of these is I'm either adding this number to itself, or I know my multiplication facts of times 1, times 2, times 3, times 4, and times 5. 6 is we have 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. 5, we go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. For 11, we have 11, 22, 33, 44, 55. For 1, it's easy. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Don't forget, we have to go 5 each time. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And 15, we have 15, 30. 30 plus 15 is 45. 45 plus 15 is 60. 60 plus 15 is 75. For 19 and 26, tell whether the first number is a multiple of the second number. So counting by 6, can I get to 44? Well, I have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. So this one is a no because I don't end up at that 44. For 25, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and I see it is, so yes, it is a multiple. For 30, we have, or 21, we have 30 and 6, so 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So yes, this one is a multiple as well as 20. For 54, let's, or 22, let's try something different. Can we think of 9 times something equals 54? Well, that is 6. 9 times 6 is 54, so 22 is a yes. For 23, let's think 3 times what equals 28. Well, I know 3 times 7 is 27, and 3 times 8, oops, I messed that up. 3 times 9 is 27, and 3 times 10 is 30. So there's no way I can get a number to equal 28 if multiplied by 3. So this one is a no. For 45, well, I know 45 is divisible by 5 because it ends in a 5, so this one is a yes. For 25, we're thinking 7 times what equals 64? Well, I know 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 10 is 70. Since this is right in the middle, there's no number that's between 9 and 10 I can multiply to get 64. So this one is a no. My last one 48 times 8, or 48 and 8, we're thinking 48 equals what times 8? Well, I know 6 times 8 is 48 since I know my multiplication facts, so this one is a yes. Let's head on to our next page now. So 27, name three multiples that are a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 5. So this means it has to have 2 as a multiple, and 5. So let's see if we can find a pattern here. So let's start with 2 and see if we can get to 1 as 5. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Well, there's one multiple of 5 because that's 5, 10. So now what I'm thinking is that means every multiple of 10 is a multiple of 2 and a multiple of 5. So let's go 10, 20, 30. And there are my three numbers. You can see each of them is even. And remember, if a number is even, then we can divide it by 2 which means it's also multiplied by 2. And if it ends in a 0, then that means it's divisible by 5, which also means it's a multiple of 5. So there are my three numbers. For 28, we have Lindsay says that all numbers that are multiples of 4 have 2 as a factor. Is she correct? What she's basically saying is, if I have a number 16, that's a multiple of 4, because I have 4, 8, 12, 16. She's saying it it has 2 as a factor. So she's saying 16 can be broken up as 2 times something equals 16. 
So my initial guess is yes. And if that was your guess too, then you have it correct. So we have this. All multiples of four are even. And all even numbers have two as a factor. Now let's head to number 29. Lindsay or Lisa made a Venn diagram showing five multiples of three and five multiples of four. What does the shaded section of her diagram show? So here we have, let me zoom out, we have multiples of three in this one, we have multiples of four in here, and it's asking, what does this shaded region represent? Well, that shaded region shows me numbers that are multiples of 3 and 4. So 12 is a multiple of 3. It's also a multiple of 4. This is actually going to come in handy later when we find something called our least common denominator. Now for number 30. Describe how 20,000 and 2,000 are related. So how they're related is 20,000 is 10 times larger or greater or bigger than 2,000. For 31, Isabel wrote this mystery problem, the quotient. So remember, quotient is a division answer. The quotient is a multiple of 6. The dividend, so let's just start since we're using all those words. We have quotient here, dividend, and oops, there is a misspelling there, and we have divisor. The dividend is a multiple of 9, so here we have a multiple of 6. Dividend is a multiple of 9. The divisor is a factor of 12. Find one possible solution to Isabella's mystery problem. Well, what I have here is I have multiples of 6. So the quotient is a multiple of 6. So that's 6, 12, 18, 24. Those are my multiples of 6. We have the dividend is a multiple of 9. So that would be 9, 18, 27. And then we have the divisor is a factor of 12. So my divisor is a factor of 12. So that's my hardest one. So let's think, how can I get 12? Well, I have 1 times 12. I have 2 times 6. I have 3 times 4. So let's just pick one of those to start with. Well, if I look here, I see that 3 can go into all of these nice and easy. So I'm going to start with 3, just because I see 3 is a factor of all of them. So that's my divisor. So we're going to be dividing by 3. And now I'm going to be looking for a possible solution, a possible answer. Well, we have 9 divided by 3, but that doesn't get me 6. So let's try another one. 18 divided by 3. So let's check that dividend is a multiple, which would work for 18 because that's this part right here. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. And my quotient is a multiple of 6. So there we go. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Now, 32 and 33. Latifah and John played a game of multiples. Each player picks a number car and says a multiple of that number. Latifah picked a 9. Write all the multiples of 9 from that box. Well, here is a multiple of 9. 17 is not because it goes 9, 18, 27, 36. There's a multiple of 9. 45, there's a multiple of 9. And then it would be 54. So I only have those three multiples. On to 33. A roller coaster ride completes a full loop every three minutes. Seth listed multiples of 3 to determine when the ride would be back at a starting point. Write all the multiples of 3 in the box. So I'm thinking, can I multiply 3 times what to equal these numbers? Well, 3 times 3 is 9. So that is 1. 
3 times nothing is equal to 11. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. I can't multiply to get thir 13. can't multiply to get 19. But I know 3 times 11 is 33. So there are my multiples of 3. That's it for Lesson 7-5.